Hello everybody, this is uh, X Dr. Mario Master X here. Welcome to my Let's Play, The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. So we just killed some spiders. Now we're gonna take this, uh, this village guard who... Oh god. Oh this, this is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Let's see here. This is Brian. He's under my orders to save Hyrule. Hyrule, I mean. <laughs> what kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay, okay. Alright, you can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. <laughs> oh, man. By the way, Mr. Hero, if you are going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It is an active volcano, after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should check out the bazaar. They sell the shield you need there. Tell them I sent you, and they should give you a special discount. If you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. Now, I'd like to ask a favor of you. No, I don't expect you to do it just because of the great tip I just gave you. I'm just asking. Hey, have you been to the Happy Bass shop that is open at Ohio Castle Town Market? Everyone is talking about it. My little boy pesters me for a popular mass when I don't have time to go there. So, could you go and get the mask for me next time you're in the market? If you don't feel like it, that's okay. But, well, I have no choice. This is my job. Uh, and there is the, uh, well, poor guy. That is the, um, the cast... That is the castle guard who actually guards the way to Death Mountain. So, to tell you the truth, he won't let you by until you have Zelda's letter. So let's go in this house and visit the people here. Poor guy. Hi, boy. Is this the first time you visited this village? A great woman, Impa, opened up this village to us poor folk. Well, make yourself at home. The food isn't ready yet, though. Those guys each do the work of half the man, but they still want a full man's portion. They're lazy slackers, I tell you. Huh, that they are. Look at these guys. These carpenters here. I'm starving. Isn't dinner ready yet? It's midnight already. Oh, really? I'm starving. Let's eat dinner right now. Look at this, kid. My beautiful, smooth hands are all worn out from working. Aw, oh, poor guy. Well, you gotta work. You gotta do that. Let's talk to some more people here. Go, um... Go to this house on the right. Oh, hang on. Oh, excuse me. I just had to burp. So, here he is. I heard that our boss's house is just behind this house. He doesn't want any of us to know, though. So, this guy actually blocks the way to the potion shop, which is behind this house. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to play the sun song. Make it daytime, and we're going to actually uh, get some... Get some cuckoos here. Put them to this lazy lady's pen. Not lazy's pen. Oh my god. Not the Boston Terrier. So, we're gonna get these cuckoos here to the cuckoo lady. You get all seven, seven of them, you get an empty bottle. And I already know. Uh, she's getting goosebumps. I'm gonna call her Anju. Or the cuckoo lady. I'm just gonna call her Anju. You can call her whatever you want. 
I don't care. Oh, can we make this jump? Oh, man. How lucky did we get? Yeah, don't fall into the grotto there. Otherwise, you have to start this whole thing over again. There's that cuckoo right there. Just don't fall into the grotto. You don't want that to happen. So, there are seven cuckoos. We need to bring it to Anju, the cuckoo lady. I think we ought to do that. Hold on, my foot itches. My foot itches. Okay. Anyway, this is actually take two, this commentary. I accidentally had the video, uh... Video sound on it. It's echoing in the background. Just trying to edit this. Merge the two videos together, so... That was my bad. So we got two out of seven cuckoos in the pen. Now let's get the third one. Oh my goodness. Uh, getting the second bottle in this game, especially very early in this game, is actually really useful. And that's a good thing to have. And besides, bottles are actually uh, really good to have in this game. You will actually want to do that. Because it's good to have that. I mean, yeah, try not to accidentally go into the door when you try to catch this cuckoo. Otherwise, you'll also start the whole thing over. We're going to actually get a piece of heart here with this cuckoo. It's not easy, but the only problem is you got the carpenter who is walking around on the ledge on this unfinished building. So, there's this cuckoo right here. That's six. We got six out of seven. Oh, man. Okay, when I actually played this when I was recording, I just couldn't find this last cuckoo. And, well, it turns out he is at way at the entrance of uh, Kakariko Village. My cuckoos have ran run away. Please bring back the last one to this, back to this pen. Please. Sure. Okay, what I did wrong, I accidentally talked to the carpenters. I thought this uh, cuckoo was in here. Yeah, it's noon. I thought this cuckoo was in here, but no, it's not. He is uh, way, way in the hill at the entrance at the Kakariko Village, not Kakariko Village. This ain't the uh, England, you know. Although, people in Europe say the word color, and we spell color, the word color, C O L O R, native English speaking. But in, um, but in England and Europe, they spell the word color, and they spell it C-O-L-O-U-R. And they spell the words differently. Oh, man. This was, uh, this is how silly I was. Oh, man. What are you doing? Don't you knock me off. I was trying to find this last cuckoo, and well, and turns out he was way in the hell in the entrance here, like I was saying in this video, and I'm gonna say it, where's that last cuckoo, where's that last cuckoo man, how much you wanna bet he's at the entrance to Kakariko Village, the very beginning, looks like I'm gonna have to split this video into two, Alrighty guys, we are back, and we're going to try to find this last cuckoo, 
so where's that last kuko man oh look at that look at that shit dude he was hiding right behind the well i didn't even see him there that's very clever thank you for finding my kukos i have allergies so i get goose goosebumps when i touch them for helping me i'll give this to you it's fine glass and should be useful. Take good care of it. We got our second empty bottle. Oh man, we got two empty bottles in the game. So. So what are we gonna do now? Well, I wanna get some bugs. Cause I think that's uh, probably a good idea. Cause I, w I wanna actually do that. So we're gonna need him for this uh for this side quest here. Not only that, later on in the game we're gonna be doing the magic bean side quest. I wanna do that too. And you can actually find bugs under these rocks too. Just to let you know. Anyway. Um what we need to do though oh here we go so you put these bugs here in the soft soil and you can get sculptulas here so we're about to kill a sculptula here burn it bash its brains out that's what I would do I'm going to bash your brains I'm going to bash your brain. We'll get a gold sculptula. Anyway. I was just repeating that line from The Shining. You know, that is actually an awesome movie. Believe it or not. I actually did watch The Shining. That is such an awesome movie, though. You know what's funny? Well... You know what's funny? After I got home from Florida, I actually ate dinner. I think I ate a egg and cheese uh, toaster or toaster strudels. It was actually hot pockets. Actually, ate me about two or one hot pockets, and I was watching The Shining on VHS tape. And is that one? I was watching that one cutscene. That one cutscene where uh, Jack Jack Torrance was actually locked up inside that one room in the closet. There's all that food. It was the storage room. And well, he was stuck in there, just taunting Wendy Torrance, his wife. So what we want to do now, you could take this cuckoo here, however it's not easy, don't let him knock you off. So, oh yeah that was close right there, and you can actually get this piece of heart early, so I can get that out of the way too. Collected three pieces of heart, one more to make a heart container. Then we'll have six heart containers. How about that? I mean, that last Kuko man, he was just hiding behind the well. Looks like he was a very clever chicken. You know? More like a very clever Kuko. So I didn't mean to do that there. So, what else we can do now? I want to go to Long Lawn Ranch. I, so I can kill that Skulltula. Now the other two Skulltulas... Uh, when I meant to say that these other two Skulltulas... That are there... We can't get them until... We can't get them until much later. Uh, I, uh, I cannot pronounce my words right. We can't get them till much later. Till we get the boomerang, that is. 
And we're not gonna go in the third dungeon anytime soon. We are gonna go to Dodongo's Cavern. That's another easy temple, by the way. Wait till we defeat the boss. That's gonna be a whole different ball game. So, we we'll just play the Sun Song and turn it into night. Here at Lon Lon Ranch. Now, you gotta be, um... You gotta be careful here at night, because... You gotta watch out for these guays here. Those purple crows. See, there's a sculpture right up there on that window. So... There's nothing we can do about that right now. But if you stand here for too long, those guays will attack you. They'll do a half a heart of damage. Anyway, this sculpture is right back here. So here he is. Right about now. So let's just kill this. Dude, will you get out of here? What are you trying to do, hit me? You can't be pecking my ass. What are you, Woody Woodpecker? Anyway. So there's another Skulltula that's over here. So you can get him if you want. However, I'm afraid you can't do anything about that. Hold on. Damn. I must have frogs in my throat tonight. Man, what am I going what am I wandering around here for? I was probably um looking for that sculpture. Since it's so dark on this game. It's so dark, but it's darker than Mr. Dark off the Rain Man. Get it? Anyway. Anyway. Uh, I have a feeling those Gways might be attacking me. Any minute now. So I want to show you this other Skulltula if I can find it. Where's he at? Bet he's over here. Uh, I might cut some of this out. I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. Okay. Okay, he's just not there. What am I doing? There's that one Skulltula there that's on the window. I can't tell where it's house. Man, will you stop peck? Will you stop attacking me, man? Get your ass out of here! Hey, you better fly away. So if you get hurt, get recovery hearts to uh, recover your health. Oh man, there's these stout stout childs here at night. So they will be coming after your ass. I just like the roll. Just keep rolling and rolling and rolling like an armadillo. I mean, this ain't Cheech and Chong, you know. You know, che Cheech and Chong up in smoke. That is another awesome movie. I want to actually watch that. Especially the movie Ghost. I could buy that on DVD on Amazon.com. You know what? Um, I have to go, man. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we're going to see Gabora Gabora get some more Skulltulas and learn uh, Saria's song. So, this is X Dr. Mario Master X saying see you next time and goodbye. <laughs>